Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to install games on the Steam Deck using Lutris. Now this video is a remake of my old Lutris video. While that video still works, there are a lot of questions that are being asked in the comments, and I want to address those questions in this video, while at the same time showing you how to install Lutris properly in a new way. Because since the recent updates of the Steam Deck, some things changed and now people can install Lutris the way I did. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is install Lutris. First check if you have Lutris on your Discover store. And if this is the only one that appears, it means that you don't. So we're gonna have to go to the browser and go to Lutris.net. Go to download. And then here, don't follow the SteamOS instructions because it seems to be outdated. We're gonna use the Flatpak instructions instead. Open console. And then here, we're gonna need to copy these commands. Paste it here. Hit enter. The result on your console might be different. The reason mine says already exists is because I've already tried this command before. So that's fine. Let's copy the second command. Do that again. Q6. And then 3. 3 again. And it says that I have it installed. In your case, it will install. We're going to try the last command. Copy this and then paste. And when this appears, you could just type Y or just click enter. And when it says change is complete, you're done with Lutris. Let's uh, check if I have Lutris. There we go. Okay, now if you're wondering why I have games in it already, it's because when you uninstall apps on your Steam Deck, it just deletes the apps but not the data of the app. So these are games that I installed on my previous installation of Lutris. The next thing that we're gonna need is Proton Up. You could download it on your Discover Store. But if for some reason you don't have it on the Discover Store, you could go to your browser and search for Proton Up QT. Click the first link. Click get Proton Up and open XDG. Now Proton Up should appear on your Discover Store now, but if for some reason it still doesn't appear on your Discover Store, you could click on this button and it will download an app image. And this is how you open an app image. Right click on it, properties, permissions, is executable. Okay. And then double click on it. And there we go. See? You can store this anywhere you want, but put it somewhere that you won't accidentally delete it. Maybe make a folder here for your app image apps. But me, I will use the one that I already have installed on my Steam Deck. So that's for Proton Up QT. Now another problem that people are having is that Lutris does not appear here. If you can't find Lutris Flatpak inside here, on Lutris, click here, on Wine. And then install any wine version here. So after installing any wine version from here, just restart Proton Up QT and it should appear here. So now that Lutris Flatpak is here, we're going to install a wine version that we're gonna use for Witcher 3. Click Add Version. On Wine GE, choose GE Proton 725 and then click Install. You could also use Lutris Wine and install Lutris F-Shack Wine 7.2. After installing Wine versions from Proton Up QT, make sure to close Lutris and then open it again. The reason for that is after you install Wine versions from Proton Up QT, Lutris will not refresh the Wine versions inside it, which is why you're gonna have to close it first. So after opening it, we're now going to install the game. First, we're gonna make a prefix folder. I have all my prefixes inside home and prefixes. So we're gonna make a folder for Victor 3. 
and name it Wicker. And on Lutris, click here. Add locally installed game. I'm going to name this Wicker for now. Under runner, select wine. Now, since we are only installing the game, we're not going to put anything else on the executable. We're just going to change the wine prefix, which is the Witcher folder that we made earlier. Click OK. Under runner, we're going to select GE Proton 25. And that's it for now. Let's save. Click on Witcher. Click here. Run exe inside the wine prefix. And then we're gonna find the installer for our game. My installer came from Spoon Girl. And we just click OK and it should run the installer. Now when using installer from Spoon Girl, in case you experience an error called isdone.dll, go reinstall the game but make sure to check this. But for the sake of faster installation, we're going to uncheck this. Click next. Next. You can either check or uncheck this, it does not really matter. Click browse. If you have an SD card, go install it somewhere there if you want. But if you want to install it on your SSD, I would recommend not installing it in here. If you install the game in here, the game will be installed inside the prefix folder, which I do not recommend, or at least I don't do it that way. I would recommend making a folder on your home and then name it games or whatever you want. Just put it on your home, install your games here. So how do you do that? When in here, the home folder is on Z and then go to home deck that's where you're gonna find your games folder okay and that's it you can now install your game now for Witcher 3 this is specific for Witcher 3 only I'm not sure if it's recommended to use the HD rework mod because I think that's for higher end PCs but you know it's up to you these dependencies may or may not install so we're just gonna have to install it later I'm just gonna uncheck it because they're useless for this installation. I'm going to teach you how to install dependencies properly on Lutris anyway. So just click install and then it might take a while. So just go ahead and install it. But in my case, I already have the game installed somewhere else. So I'm just going to click cancel and proceed with the tutorial. Let's say that I've already done installing the game. Let's go to configure. On the executable, click browse. And then find where you installed the game. In my case, it's here on the blue. Which your three. It's on bin at x64 and which your three. Okay. That's it. You don't have to put anything on the working directory. Just click save. After that, you could try to play the game. See if it works. There we go. So the game launched. And that's good. You should be done at this point. But let's say that the game did not launch that means you might have to install something else it may be a different wine version this one you might have to install uh, an older version for example metal gear solid revengeance requires a uh, wine version 5 or 6 i think it's 5 and it's not gonna work with the latest wine version so that's one of the reasons another reason would be you need to install dependencies and how do you do that? Now, one way of finding the dependencies is just, you know, just going Witcher 3 does not launch on Google. Or you could go Steam DB. Now, if you could type it properly, that'd be great. Steam DB.info. And then search for your game. Scroll down and look for your game make sure that it's not a dlc or an expansion pack or something mine is game of the year edition click there scroll down click on depots in this case we have direct x vc 2013 
and VC 2012. Most of the time, you don't have to install DirectX. But if the game asks, then go install DirectX. Unfortunately, installing this via Wine Tricks, which I will show you later, is not as easy as installing the other two. So I will just link a uh, video on the description or here on the top. And in that video, I will teach you how to install dependencies another way. But on this video, we're just gonna focus on installing it via Wine Tricks. On Lutris, click on the game, click here, click on Wine Tricks. And then while waiting for one tricks to appear, minimize your windows. Click OK. Click here and then click OK again. So for Witcher 3, it requires VC 2013 and 2012. Which means it's these two. VC Run 2012 and VC Run 2013. I would recommend installing it one by one. Because sometimes if you install too many at the same time, they just won't install. So how do you know if uh, dependency installs? Click OK. If Wine Tricks goes back, it got installed. But if it doesn't come back, it probably got stuck or something. When you see this, that means the dependencies got installed properly. But if you really want to double check if they actually got installed, click here, click OK. You can scroll down and see if they are checked. There we go. Just click Cancel. Until it disappears and you can now play your Witcher 3. We need to add this to Steam. To do that, just right click on the game, create Steam shortcut and that's it. Now it will not appear on your Steam library right away. As you see we don't have Witcher here. This Witcher 3 is uh, my retail Witcher 3 so that's not the one. Now the reason our Lutris Witcher 3 does not appear here is because I click create Steam shortcut while Steam is running in the background, which means these are not updated. So to update that, you're gonna have to exit Steam. And then after the Steam logo disappears, open Steam again, there we go. But some people are having a different problem. Let's say you right click on this game and you don't have create Steam shortcut option. It's a bug Lutris. So how do you create a Steam shortcut if this option is not available? We're gonna have to add Lutris on the Steam. Open Steam, Library, and then click Games, add a non-Steam game, and then look for Lutris here. Now you're lucky if you have Lutris here, but if you don't, that's also okay. Click Cancel, search for Lutris, and then add to Steam. There we go. Now I have two Lutris shortcuts. This is my default one, and this is the one that I just added. Click here properties and then delete user bin and also delete user bin here and on the bottom delete from branch beta to file forwarding it will leave you with run net lutris and delete this as well now just type lutris colon run game slash and then we're gonna have to put something there. Just go back to Lutris, configure the game, change on the identifier, copy that, cancel, go back to Steam, and then paste it here. This is how it should look like, okay? We're gonna name this Witcher. Click play. And as you see on Lutris, the game is running now. But don't worry, on gaming mode, Lutris will not show up. Let's test it on gaming mode. Okay, now we are on gaming mode. Let's open this. Click play. Now it might take a while to load, especially if it's your first time running a game that is installed via Lutris. And there we are. Running a version of The Witcher 3 on the Steam Deck. So that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Also, make sure to check my pinned comment every time on my videos. Because sometimes if I have updates on that video, I put it on the pinned comment. You could also join us on Discord. The link will be in the description. We could talk there, you know, just 
random stuff or we could also talk about your problem with your <coughs> games if you want more videos like this make sure to like and subscribe hit the notification bell icon and thank you for watching once again i'm jd ross and see you on the next video